Warning, the interviews conducted in this film should not be attempted by amateurs. Interviews are performed by highly trained professionals. Approaching attendees of a comic book convention without proper training can put your life at risk and should not be attempted by anyone, anytime. Hello, darling, you look marvelous. Hello, I'm Joan Rivers and welcome to Comic-Con. Comic books. I've always loved comic books. I've always believed that the United States spawned two of the 20th century's greatest creations, rock and roll and comic books. Okay, and the Twinkie. And Urkel. When comic books were introduced to the public during the early part of the 20th century, they were an instant hit, selling by the millions. As the industry thrived over the decades, people began to collect older issues. Out of this collector's pursuit grew the comic book convention. Over time, these comic book conventions grew and multiplied. But there was one convention down in San Diego that has transcended them all in size, scope, and popularity, mutating itself into becoming the largest pop culture event in the world. Everything is represented there, from the smallest of comic book publishers to the kings of Hollywood movie making. Comic-Con is like Woodstock for the comic book industry, except with a lot less mud, and a lot more Klingons. Yes, for many fans, this event has become less about comics and more about dressing up, or dressing down. Comic-Con has become one giant pop-cultured, costumed, Mardi Gras, vanity freak festival. In San Diego, Halloween now comes twice a year. Trick or treat! There's one thing I'm here for this week at Comic-Con, and that's mutants. I want mutants! Bring me the mutants of Comic-Con! Let's go find us some mutants. Nervous, mommy. Don't, don't leave me at Comic Con with all the bad, scary people. Comic Con scary. The horror. The horror. Do you make love to your Xena poster? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> hey, what holds it up there? Just tons of hairspray? It's not a, it's not like the uh, something about Mary <laughs> gel, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Spank me, Barbie. <laughs> There's a lot of spanking going on here at Comic-Con. There is, and I'm doing most of it. We're walking behind Tattered Angel here. This, uh, this poor soul who's flying over San Diego got caught in a jet engine. I be Snabernacle of the Dark Spear Tribe. Yeah, what do you mean you decided to come here and protest? Uh, it's not so much a protest. It's it's more of like a just like fr uh, freedom of speech thing. I just think that like most people disagree with me, but I've actually had a lot of support from people that like agree with me. So I'm really proud of that, and think that more people need to come out and show that that this show really isn't that great. We'll get rid of smoking, and we'll get rid of the Family Guy. A little tickle. Oh, oh. You're in perfectly good condition. You're a weak, I'm strapping young man <laughs> with uh, all your limbs attached. Want a hand? Oh, I love one. Thank you. These are delicious. Hi, where are you from? Hi there. I'm from uh, Hollywood, California. 
Excellent. Are you here with a booth or anything, or just here on your own, or here with? I'm here on my own. This is my first con, first time ever dressing up. My friend, who's an animator with Disney, Disney said, "Hey, Cat, why don't you come on out and uh, come to the con with me?" I said, "What is that?" And I dug up an old Halloween costume, and here I am. So. <laughs> Can I pet your pussy? Please. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. This is exciting. Attention. Attention, all nerds, please return to your mom and dad's basement. I repeat, attention, all nerds, please return to your mom and dad's basement. I have a professional badge, which means I can come in here and do anything I damn well please. Everybody else is low-life scum. They bow down before me. I'm a professional. Treat me with respect. I could buy and sell most of you with this. Ask me about my wiener. How's your wiener? It's good. <laughs> How many hours did it take to put together the box costume? Um, I think it took me just about one day. One day? One day. Yeah, are you are you homeless? Um, no. No, he's not homeless. All right, not yet, not yet. You will be soon. That's something to strive for. Good luck. I can't repeat that for the kids at home. That's uh, that's some soft core porn we're talking here. Inspired the makeup. What what is this? Anything in particular? No, not really. How are you going to attract the chicks when they can't see your handsome face? <laughs> uh, that's there, <laughs> you know. What's your favorite thing here? Free stuff. You kind of look like that actor, what's his name, who played Cliff Clavin on Cheers. Okay, well. What, I, what, his, um, what's his name? Um, when the interviews are going stale, that means it's time for some dance footage. Let's boogie. Dean LeCrone was chilling at the Comic Con. He was moving, he was grooving, mutant women coming on strong. Those weirdy mutant girls say, be mellow and relax it. But when they dance with Dean LeCrone, they shake their freak fantastic. The Comic Con mutants love when Dean comes around. They thrash San Diego and destroy downtown. So when you see Dean and the mutants getting their groove on, you better stand back because you'll know it's time for the funky Comic Con dance-a-thon. Oh yeah. Can you dig it? Funky Comic-Con dance-a-thon. When Comic-Con is over, mutants hug and cry and scream. Longing for the day when Dean LaCrone hits the big screen. When that day comes and Dean is starring in the movies, he'll bring along his mutants and they'll party with George Clooney. Just a sleepy guy. He's been at con all day. He's exhausted. He just, this is just too much for him. He might be dead though. I don't know. He might just be dead. And San Diego needs to build more hotel rooms because this guy had to sleep on a bench at the Comic Con all night. He's really tired. The Comic Con is full of fun, sweet chalk. It's chalk full of chunky goodness. And, and and fun, sweet-filled fillings, whatever that means. You know, the rumors are that your 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 body is so hot that it's causing global warming. <laughs> I have people to say the nicest things. <laughs> is it true that your bodies are so hot it's causing global warming? Yeah, I'm cold-blooded. I can't speak for the other two, but... <laughs> is it true that your body is so hot it's causing global warming? Oh, yes, definitely. Is it true that your body's so hot it's causing global warming? Um, yes, actually, this lady over here is wearing less clothes because of it. Is it true your body is so hot it's causing global warming? Uh, I think so. <laughs> Not quite sure. <laughs> My favorite geek, Natalie Portman. <laughs> She's the loveliest geek I've ever seen. Is this, uh, is this a line for Dean LeCron? No. It's the Hasbro. Oh, okay. All right. It's not the line for Dean LaCrone. Do they have Pong? I want to play Pong. You got, 
got something on your back. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know about it. All right. I am Baraka, son of Ortak. And uh, obviously, everybody always asks, wants to know if, if uh, you know, if somebody who dresses like a Klingon can speak the Klingon language at all. Uh, do you know any of that? And he just asked for a beer at the bartender. <laughs> We're here with the toughest badass at Comic Con. What's your name? Bane. Ba oh, Bane. Yeah. Bane, man. Bane is gonna kick some nerd ass at this thing. All right, I don't want none of that. I don't want that. I don't want another broken. Yeah. <laughs> I already had a Hobbit kick my ass today. I just sent that stormtrooper and Boba Fett to go kick Bane's ass. Hey, are you a natural purple? Actually, I am. I live near a nuclear power plant back in Limerick, so... <laughs> so you're not from another planet? No, not exactly. Yeah. No. It's just cyborg created. <laughs> oh, a cyborg gal. So you prefer cyborg men or, or, or humans? Humans have a certain flavor to them that yeah. cyborg men just don't have. <laughs> Who are better lovers, Vulcans or Klingons or humans? Klingons because we do it with passion, especially the women because they uh, throw things. So, like furniture and Volkswagens and plates and 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 the and the, the love making is passionate. Yes, very much so. It's kind of uh, frightening sometimes. Thank you, Mr. Klingon. You're welcome. Yeah! Oh, his handshake is killing me! Oh, I found Bigfoot's secret lover. She escaped from the wilderness and tied her hair in knots to look more human. Hmm. She looked like Marge Simpson if someone took an axe to her hair. I actually don't even like comics. I'm just here because I'm in love with the comic book guy. He's so dreamy. Right over here, honey. Yeah. Oh, it's great. There's all kinds of... Oh, look. Here's some comic books about cleaning the house and doing the dishes and... Oh, and treating my husband like a king. Oh, cool, man. This is the best. Hey, were you here last year? Yeah. Yeah, and, and what's the costume again? Killer robots. I'm drunk. You're drunk or you're drug? Drug! I'm drunk. He's drunk. Uh, how you doing, brother? And we are freaking awesome. Lou Ferrigno. Is that air conditioning or are you hotter than hell? Oh, hotter than hell. Lou Ferrigno is down the way. Maybe you could go in him and do like a couple of, <laughs> like a cage match. I saw I'd Lou Ferrigno. We, we interviewed Ferrigno. Yeah. Awesome. You never made You never made duty in this outfit, have you? No. <laughs> no. You sound like you're making duty right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, man. You rock. Awesome. You rock. Killer robot. Killer robot. MySpace. MySpace. Yes, MySpace. Yes. Killer robot, everybody. Zombie Lounge. Yes. Zombie Lounge. We're going to be drinking some robot yes. drinks. Yeah, baby. the stuff tastes like Angus Young sweat <laughs> tastes like tastes Ever like the go. saliva off of Steven Tyler's vocal cords <laughs> partying like a rock star get some today you comic-con freaks 
here with the filmmaker, yes. the cinematographer, the editor, and the producer of Go Wild at Comic Con, yes, Alan I, Freeman, and right his lovely now, wife Bonnie. Uh, right now, we're we're in, a, we're in a desperate search to replace the MC of our DVD. Um, Dean has kind of sort of lost his mind, and we think that he should be replaced immediately. You sound like my parents. <laughs> And we look like them. We probably do. <laughs> I shaved my beard off. <laughs>
I stay in the lines. Drawing is relaxing. They were all wrong. I don't need no stinking lessons. I'm usually better with Crayola. That's my medium. Uh, Craig, where are you from? I am from Macon, Georgia. Macon, Georgia? Don't get discouraged. Keep practicing. You're going to get good. Even, I mean, just keep working on the portfolio stuff. Even should display your crappy work like this. It, you're going to get there. The internet, they got free classes on art, and you're really going to get there. It's going to be great. I'm here in front of the convention center, or at least part of the convention center. This thing stretches so far, it has two zip, two different zip codes, it seems like. And you look over here on your left, you see the thousands of fans waiting to get in. This is the day to avoid the Comic-Con. It's pandemonium, wall-to-wall -wall people. Wall-to-wall -wall nerds, geeks, spazoids, freaks, and weirdos. And I love every minute of it. I do it, I do it. I always feel like the coolest nerd here, you know? <laughs> Unit two, we, this is how it all comes together. Can't just be in me and Alan holding the camera and remind we come back here to the van, we edit this sucker together. Downtown San Diego, renovated and reconstructed just for Comic-Con. They're building a whole uh, hotel over there just for comic book nerds to live in throughout the year making their comic books. Then they walk across the street here in July and sell them by the dozens. Man, I don't know, man. There was this really good-looking guy in a Spider-Man suit. Not that I'm gay or anything. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but dude. Do, 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 do. Wait up, wait up, sugar daddy. Where's my sugar daddy? He's going to get me into the convention center for free. I hope my boyfriend is there at the Comic-Con waiting for me. My imaginary boyfriend. Did you come down here to get interviewed by Dean LaCron? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I, uh, I wear this to all the slumber parties, rainbow bright underwear. When I was in a fraternity back in college, we wore rainbow bright underwear, me and the guys. No, really, does a, does a rainbow bright underwear make you popular? Rainbow bright underwear makes me very popular. When I'm walking down the street and people see me in my rainbow bright underwear, I am very popular. <laughs> Go for it. That ugly doll was mouthing off to me earlier, so I punched him in the eye. <laughs> yeah, this is lying to get the stickers to get the free DVDs. There's lines that you get into to get into other lines, and then eventually you, 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 you at 5, you at 5 p.m., then you get a sticker. <laughs> my head's starting to spin. I need my... Where's, where's my energy drink? I'm playing my guitar. I'm so cool here at the Comic-Con. Comic-Con. Yeah, let's rock. I'm an Alice Cooper wannabe. Ooh, I'm living on the street with my girlfriend who looks like a dude. Have a hat. Look at my hat. It has buttons. I am looking so cool. You know, Beverly, after 35 years, I think it's time to seriously consider surgery to separate us. Oh my gosh, it's a miracle! Is this the highlight of your uh, visit, getting interviewed by me? Definitely, yeah. D good answer. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to put these two gals in my pocket, just carry them around the rest of the day. And just in in interview, interview them right here. Uh, you got to develop stuff. You can't quit. You got to make it worthwhile and innovative and good and cool and and beholding in the eyes of others. I'm here to inspire people. Look at all these normal people. There's too many normal people around here. You got to do something about it, and I'm going to do something about it. Mutants of Comic Con, Bottle Cap Dude has thrown down the gauntlet and called us normal. I am here to say to you, Bottle Cap Dude, we are not normal, nor are we cool or innovative or beholding to others, for we are abnormal. And I want to call all mutants to go to the battlefield and on my command, unleash hell! Have made any of these tough guys cry? Oh, yeah, just not always on the field. <laughs> She's a heartbreaker. Oh my god, and Giron, jab in the eye. Oh, he lost an eye in that one. That's going to be tough. Oh! I think the only thing that you're going to die of is heat stroke. God, I mean, this was like, saw this great battle? Yeah, yeah, somebody died of heat stroke. I'm getting out there. Give me a helmet. Yeah! You rock!
Let's go interview. Oh, did you see the battles out there? With the, uh, the the battles of knights it was battling. Interesting. They're they're not actually hurting each other, so it's cool. All right. You could bring them back to life anyway, couldn't you? Mm. I could, but uh, I'm kind of on vacation. Dad doesn't let me do that. Yeah, you know, Acts of Miracles are kind of not on a high list when you're on vacations here at Comic-Con. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Okay, thanks. Uh, thanks, uh, Buddy Christ. Just remember, go with Dad. Go with And uh, what would I do? I haven't seen Spider-Man yet anywhere. I don't know where he could be. I sense he's here near somewhere. It's the remake of Three Men and a Baby. Baby's all grown up and daddy likey. Watch as they argue over who will breastfeed the baby. I'm breastfeeding her. No, I am. My man breasts contain the fortified man milk she needs for her development as a woman. I'm looking for comics about magic carpets. Explain yourself, Darth Vader. Are you Darth Vader's sister or, or crazy lazy aunt or what are you? I am Darth Vader's bubba. His, You're Darth Vader's what? His grandmother. His grandmother. You're Darth Vader's grandmother. His Jewish grandmother. Jewish grandmother. <laughs> Many people were not there for Dorothy's bat mitzvah, but you, you know it. It. It's since come to light that he in fact has a mother and a grandmother, and and there's a strong family resemblance. I'm sure you could see. So he, Darth Vader, is Jewish, and 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 you had a bar mitzvah. Yes, he did have a bar mitzvah. I have photographic evidence, but I do not have it with me at this time. Okay. Yes. Does the force keep you from getting lung cancer? No, but it keeps me from getting laid. The force, but it keeps you from getting laid. Yes. <laughs> this must be a great place to get, you know get a little action, uh, Darth Vera. Uh, I would think there's a lot of a lot of guys looking for a good a good looking gal like you. Well, they 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 uh, they, they should come ask me for a date. God, I can't. I, no. Oh, oh, Darth Vera, we'll spread the way. We love you, Darth Vera. Guys, give her a chance. She's just looking for a date, looking to be loved, Darth Vera. Ah, Vera, Darth Vera, Vera, Darth Vera. Attention, attention, all 40-year-old virgins, please exit Exhibit Hall D. Attention, all 40-year-old virgins, please exit Exhibit Hall D. Yep, Comic-Con. Kids Day. Something for the kids. Right, get those kids out of the house. Send them to Comic-Con so they can watch television. Yeah. That's good. It's a good thing about con. Kids get out of the house. Did you know there was a Comic-Con convention, or did you just dress like this every day? Uh, I knew there was a Comic-Con convention, and I really wish to dress like this every day. But, you know, you have to keep your secret identity um, from the normal people. If the other people know who you are, then you're kind of in trouble. Hey, I, hey wait. have What's you guys up? seen the other guys that are doing interviews? Uh -uh. Total jerks. Why? Yeah, really? we're just like doing fun, crazy, wacky oh, no, questions no. and fun uh, stuff. But who are these other guys? Crazyhorse.com or something like that. Yeah. And they act like they're going to be really excited to give you an interview. Yeah. And then they're like, they're like so uh, did you plan on getting laid when you came in this oh, costume? And I was man, like, yeah. actually, yeah. I already you did your mom twice. Yeah, you know what? That's the kind of crap I was avoiding. Cause so, uh, you picking up any hot babes this week? Maybe maybe score some chicks? You mean any box babes? It's like everybody comes to Comic-Con to do interviews where it's like, uh, hey, like, do your parents know that you're not in the basement today? Why are you here when you could be sitting comfortably at home in your parents' basement? Why are you here at the con when you could be enjoying yourself comfortably at home in your parents' basement? What do they say? Like, well, will you come home with me to my mom's basement? Everybody back to their mom and dad's basement. Mother and father's basements. Uh -huh. uh, and you're at the con, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, really I, know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I so, know. I don't even know why they do it. They shouldn't I don't be know. here. I know, I know what you mean. I know we've been totally trying to avoid that. But uh, so really, seriously, why are you in your parents' basement living there? All right, bring on the studs. I'm just getting low. According to our sources, the street's the place to go. Cause tonight, for the first time, just about half. Hello, I asked for studs. First time in history, it's gonna start raining, man. It's raining, man. Hallelujah, it's raining, man. Amen. It's raining, man. Hallelujah. It's raining, man. Amen. Ooh, mama lie. Humidity's 
rising. No, <laughs> no. According to our sources, the streets the place to go. Cause tonight for the first time. I'm out of here. All the studs are over at the Star Trek convention. For the first time in history, it's gonna start raining. Rain man, hallelujah, it's rain man, amen. Old lady costumes, and they're going to the costume masquerade as old ladies. They're actually 20 years old. These are amazing. Rick Baker special effects costumes from Star Trek. Yes, these are amazing. <laughs> hey, doctor, I got myself a problem with my <clears throat> manhood. You got a uh, prescription that can help me out? Or, uh, yeah. Oh, my God, suddenly I'm cured. I'm cured. Look at this. These ladies are badass. They got tattoos. HF. Wow. Look at that. Tattoos. They're they're gonna. You're gonna get your boyfriends on the Harleys and head home tonight. Yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I practice the colon cleansing technique of having two cats shoved headfirst into my butt. Oh, this is this is like a rave party over here, man. This guy here is a party animal. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm telling you. This guy is out of control. Best price, top of the line. Priceline.com. Captain Kirk, ladies and gentlemen, the real Plan Captain Kirk. Plan your vacation now. I'm not kidding. Plan your vacation now. Have you seen snakes on a plane? Yes. Are you? Only in my pants. Are you, are you as sick of snakes on a plane as I am? Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Fantastic. We're scared of technology. We're Luddites. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm scared of technology, too. That's why he's running that and why I'm on the microphone. Um, but uh, so are you just friends or are you a girlfriend, boyfriend? Buddies. Very good buddies. Hell good. Nothing more going on? No, I'm so... No. Oh. Wait a minute. We got an update. Ladies and gentlemen, call entertainment tonight. Is diarrhea ruining your Comic-Con experience? Are your mutant friends having more fun than you? Well, clear up that mess with new fast-acting Rhea Be Gone. Rhea Be Gone, it'll dry up that chocolate river and give you the bowel control you need to reclaim your life at Comic-Con. Get some today, you Comic-Con freaks. Hello, where are you from? Gotham City. Gotham City. Is it, is this a used towel or is it is it been you like wrung out and dried on your bathroom floor and then you'd put it around your neck? This is a Kevlar cape. It stops bullets from hitting me. <laughs> Why are you here at the con when you could be enjoying yourself comfortably at home in your parents' basement? There's actually a lot of crime at, here at the convention, oh, yes. and I came to do what I could to help out. And it, I like the bat masking tape. And the unshaven Batman look. You, you, you're, you're like the unemployed Batman who needs to look for work and needs a new towel. It's a cape. I mean, oh, uh, that's right, it's a cape. Sorry. It's a cape, sorry. Why aren't we doing what? Filming these little honeys that have the skimpy costume. Oh, the honeys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but we haven't seen any. You're the, you're the only honeys I've ran across. <laughs> you're the only honeys I'm interested in interviewing. Sorry. This is an original character of mine. She's Hello. named, she's the battle student, Girls from Space Lucky, called name and GS Lucky Elsa. And uh, I made the design. I'm a mangaka, well, starting to be. And uh, just send it in to make it. I'm not really good at making costumes. My first costume, which was actually this one, was a total rip-off. If there's any crime, I will be here to fight it. I've seen some of the weirdest, freakiest stuff here. I don't think I could see anything weirder. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay, except for maybe Pokemon's ass. Ten minutes to go. How do you feel? How was it? How was Comic-Con? It was my first one. It was one of the best experiences I ever had. Fantastic. Even better than the first time with your girlfriend. Close second. Okay, all right. If you can't sell it here, you can't sell it anywhere. That's the new logo next year at Comic-Con. You can't sell it here, you can't sell it anywhere. Comic-Con is over. Are you going to cry? Now that Comic-Con is over, can you live? He's really nice. Apparently not. Say it with me. The hall is now. The hall is now closed. That should do the trick.
trick. If it doesn't, we'll break out the tear gas. Dude, I just got here to Comic Con. Where's Jack Kirby? Where you guys going? I just got here. Hey. Can you, where can I get my ticket? And so it ends. The horror has ended for San Diego. This is Dean LeCron, and I've just about had it with Comic Con. <laughs> Good night. Good luck. And I'll see you next year in Do you think Bugs Bunny is sexy? Yeah, Bugs. Oh yeah, he's always sexy. You seen that? Uh, you seen that underground video of Bugs and Daffy yet? No. Ooh, no, you it's, have it. It's the Paris Hilton video. Her and Bugs. <laughs> Her and Bugs Bunny. It's scary. She's been with everybody, even animated cartoon characters. You look like you, you would work in avionics or aviation or airport tarmacs. Yeah. You see, first of all, I work on light GA aircraft, general aviation, and in singles and light twins. And of course, when you when you crawl into those airplanes, particularly on hot days, it does get a little hot in there. But here I am; I'm used to that sort of thing. Yeah. Pretty girl. You're so pretty. Pretty. <laughs> Dean LaCroix cannot stay because the Comic Con is closing today. So Dean will go. But I know Dean will think of the mutants every step of the That is all Dean is taking with him. So goodbye. Please don't cry. We all know that Dean will be back next year. Wow, Dean LaCroix wrote the 
credits, and Alan Freeman edited them. These guys are geniuses. NASA should hire them. Then with Dean and Alan's brilliant minds, NASA could finally put a man on the moon. Hey, Julie, I know you're impressed with the movie, and it's very flattering, but please focus on singing the song. Oh, my God, you're Dean LaCrone. You are so talented. Hey, what if you made a parody of a song and then put it in the movie? Wouldn't that be awesome? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Julie Kaufman on vocals. Dean LaCrone hopes life treats you kind and dean lacroix hopes comic con was everything you dreamed it to be and dean wishes you joy and happiness but above all this dean wishes you mutant love I'm not married. I'm. Uh, I've always been a single man, right there. Never, never married. Never dated. Well, that all remains to be seen, right there. I certainly don't look for them. Whether or not uh, something comes at the right place at the right time, well, my phase of it, and then later when uh, that phase got greedy and made things cheaper to buy than in, than they were to repair. That was after 15 years. I then went into industrial electronics, which involved a combination of a wide range of stuff. And it was in the latter phase of that, because I've always had an interest in aircraft and aviation, that I heard about uh, a, wonder, a real good aircraft maintenance program through the...